announced first on Fox at 5 tonight. St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones says she expects more indictments soon. The mayor spoke for the first time today about the alleged corruption and federal indictments on the St. Louis Board of Aldermen. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins is live from outside St. Louis City Hall with the controversy. Kelly. Well, Mandy and Vic today, Mayor Tashara Jones held a news conference here at St. Louis City Hall to address the accusations and the resignations of three aldermen. She says that her office will continue to do what's best for the city and for residents. This is a dispiriting but necessary moment of reflection for St. Louis. This is a stain on our city, but it will not prevent us from becoming fairer, safer, and stronger. Wednesday at St. Louis City Hall, St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones said it's been a troubling few weeks after three elected officials stepped down amid controversy. Former Board of Aldermen President Louis Reed, a former Alderman John Collins Muhammad, and Jeffrey Boyd were all indicted on federal bribery charges. And all three did the right thing by resigning. Now our city can take the first tentative steps to move forward. It's been an incredibly difficult few weeks for the city in our region. Mayor Jones also said that she believes more indictments could come down in the case. Well, we've known that aldermanic courtesy has been something that um, has been at the board for a long time. Um, we don't know how many other people are involved. Um, and I don't think that I think that there are more federal indictments to come. I don't know that, but I think that this is the tip of the iceberg. All three pleaded not guilty to the pay to play scheme for allegedly accepting thousands of dollars in cash in exchange for helping securing tax abatements for a business developer. And an important point for clarity. According to SLDC, LRA did not grant an abatement for the property in question. The developer will, will be required to pay current taxes and any and all future incremental taxes on this project. Reed's resignation took effect immediately and Alderman Joe Vollmer will be the interim board president until election in November. I feel saddened for the actions and the, and the, the whole occurrence. You have to put integrity back into the, to the people's minds about when they think about city government. Uh, and, and the gentleman stepping aside allows us to do that. Now, St. Louis City Board of Election officials say that uh, residents will head to the polls in November for the general election to fill the vacancy of Lewis Reed. Meanwhile, a special election will be held in August to fill the vacancies of Jeffrey Boyd and John Collins Muhammad. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.